Great. Well, uh, good evening, everyone, and a very warm welcome to our amazingly exciting first Tower Garden presentation call that we have ever done. And it's a Tower Garden opportunity call um, because there is a tremendous opportunity with the Tower Garden and we are so excited about it. So just to let you know what's going to be happening this evening, just so you can relax and enjoy the whole evening. We're going to be running for about 45 minutes. And we're going to start off with an overview about the Tower Garden uh, that Gordon's going to give us. Um, and then we're going to hear from some people that are already uh, really thriving with the Tower Garden. And we're going to be all across Europe on that. So that's going to be fantastic. And the UK, of course. Um, and then we have got a wonderful uh, guest speaker. And so we've got William uh, from Applegarth Farm who's going to be talking to us specifically about his experience with the Tower Garden, his story about how he found the Tower Garden, why he chose the Tower Garden, and uh, very specifically why he's decided to um, develop a Tower Garden farm. So can you imagine that? So that's going to be absolutely super, super exciting. Very and then we're going to have a period at the end of a question and answer. So you can put your questions in the chat. Um, as we go through and we'll pick that up as we go along or uh, you can come in at the end with your um, questions and we will do our best to answer them. So uh, without further ado I'm going to hand them uh, hand us over to Gordon and uh, Gordon is going to give us an overview about what this amazing is that we've been able can we mute everybody James? Okay, can you hear me? Yep, yeah. good, good evening everybody and welcome to the call. I'm uh, going to share my screen and just put up this. Here we go. Okay, so for everybody here, this that's a distributor, this is a presentation that is actually in your virtual office. So if you went to your virtual office and go to the front screen uh, at the very top, there's an option to go into basics. If you go into basics and then choose products and business, uh, uh, pro products and business facts, it will actually have the tower garden section in there. And this is a, this is a presentation from the tower garden uh, section. And um, I'm actually, I don't have time to go through the whole thing. It's 15 slides but I'm gonna pick out 50% uh, you know, of them that I think is worthy of, uh, of, of just a little bit of note and give you a flavor for how it is. Uh, if that's all right. Yeah, James, that's okay. Yeah, sounds fantastic, take it away. Okay, so um, just a little bit about my, my, my story. I was invited over to Phoenix in Arizona uh, in 2015 uh, to become part of a pilot group that was going to spearhead the launch of the Tower Gardens in uh, Europe. And I went to visit uh, a, a facility there, which was a tower farm uh, called True Gardens, run by a guy called Troy Albright. And we spent the day there showing us the facility. We ate from the tower. He showed us how it all worked and uh, we were given a presentation. And uh, a lot of the information that I'm going to show you now is really derived from that and, uh, and what was going. So let me just, you know, without any delay, I'll, I'll zip through and I'm going to flash through a couple of these slides to start off with. So here we go. Let's go on to this one. So the Tower Garden, and for people that don't uh, know, but I'm sure a lot of you do know, and I'll just kind of very quickly go through this, but it's, it's an aeroponic growing system. Um, and it says, look, soil and mess free. And, and I've got to say, that just suits me down to the ground because, you know, I, I, I don't like getting my hands dirty and kind of mud and I hate worms and things like that. So, you know, it's, uh, it's something that really kind of fits into my psyche. Hydroponic farming um, basically uses water and nutrients to grow, grow the, the produce. And um, basically the energy rich plants are free from soil and as I said, hits mess and herbicides and pesticides. Um, the special form of hydronics and aeroponic growing where what happens is the roots basically grow inside the actual tower itself and they are kept moist 
and uh, regularly watered by um, the water and the nutrients circulate, circulating around the tower itself. Um, the vertical part of it, obviously the footprint is something that goes up the way and not across the way. Um, so basically using 90% less space than traditional growing methods. Um, and basically it grows all year round. round. You can actually uh, put uh, uh, grow lights on the actual tower itself. And in fact, we're gonna have a little conversation with some of the people that are using the tower. And I know we'll, we, uh, Wilma has got her grow lights on and she's sitting there in beautiful sunlight uh, growing uh, uh, her food as she speaks. But listen, the facts about this is it uses 90% less water. You get 30% higher yield and it only takes 30 days from basically planting your seeds to actually harvesting the crops uh, on the tower. Um, zero pesticides and it's 100% homegrown. And it's the actual flavor itself that really blew me over how nutritious it was and how flavorsome it was, which is a bit of a kind of, um, uh, you know, something sad to say about what we do buy in the supermarkets. So let's talk about the Tower Garden and, and the history and how it came with Induced Plus. Um, it was a brainchild of a guy called Tim Blank, who is still with us. And he was the chief horticultural and greenhouse manager at Walt Disney. Um, and, and I understand his, his, uh, his kind of charge was really for Walt to, to establish a, a global sustainable food source that you could actually grow anywhere. Um, and that's what he did. But um, you know, like all entrepreneurs, he wanted to start his own business. And it, that, that date's wrong. It's actually in 2005, he started his own company, Future Growing. Um, and he started to develop the first aeroponic growing system. Um, and Tower Gardens came into, into, into being. Juice Plus came across Tower in 2011. And after a year of trial, basically, and um, uh, pilot studies, they, they basically built up an online community of, of growers. And 2014, they attached the grow lights, which meant that you could not only grow outdoors, but indoors. And initially it was only the outdoor facility that, that they offered. 2015, um, due to a amazing person called Stephen Ritz, uh, basically the Tower Garden got into the school uh, curriculum uh, in America, and I understand it's something like 40,000 students are now kind of um, uh, being uh, educated using the tower and uh, showing what's growing there. 2016, uh, basically Juice Plus acquired the company. It seemed like a, a good idea. And what it also gave is uh, opportunity to go into the commercial farming side. And the guy that I saw in uh, Phoenix, Troy Albright, um, was basically the person that introduced Will Benson, and we'll hear from him today. And he is a tower farmer, um, and we'll hear more from him later on. How it works, a uh, very simple system. It's uh, basically plug and grow. So you basically just put the thing together. And my 80-year-old um, father-in-law put his together in something like 20 minutes. So it's, it's not a difficult task, I promise. Uh, the tower itself, modular system, um, you get five towers that can increase as if you want to, there's a, an additional feature you can put on there. A pump is situated in the sump uh, where the water sits um, uh, together with fertilizer and that pump will actually take the water up to the top of the tower and then it sprinkles down through each of the pods to fertilize all the vegetables, fruits and herbs etc that you're growing. Um, basically low maintenance, high efficiency, and it's absolutely great fun. I mean, I've never seen, as I said, I've never grown anything in my life before, although my mum and dad did have an allotment, and I used to see going there as a punishment, not as a something I enjoyed. So, you know, kind of growing anything was, wasn't kind of very easy for me. But when you start off with little seedlings and you see them grow, it's like your children, you think, oh my gosh, look at this, the baby's growing. And you get all excited, like every morning you'll come down and you say, oh my goodness, look how big that's growing and all the rest of it. And when it goes in the tower, it just literally takes over. It just goes bananas. Um, the tower itself is made of food grade plastic and uses earth-based minerals to grow the food. So you know what you're getting. 
it, it's absolutely food security, food sustainability, um, and in this day and age, uh, that's exactly what you want to be, you know, working on. Really. Uh, let's move on. So, what are the, what are the, the sales arguments for the tower? Um, wh why would you want to grow a tower in the first place? Well, you know, it's simple, it's easy. Um, there's no weeding, tilling experiences I used to have in my mum's kind of allotment. Um, the taste is totally different to anything you'll have before. I mean, I, I, I've had the tower now, well, since 2016, I suppose, in many ways, obviously kind of grown it in different places. I'm in Portugal at the moment. Due to the last lockdown, which was in 2020, I kind of unearthed the tower and started growing. And it was amazing just how good it was to be able to pick your own produce from, from the tower. And we've continued that uh, during the, this last lockdown as well. Um, and I, I'll speak about the payback in a minute, but I mean, I, I think it's been a well worth investment just, just for that alone. Um, obviously the quality is, is second to none. That intense flavor, flavor and aroma. I, I used to, I love the smell of basil. But you know, when you buy it in the supermarket, it doesn't really last that long. But in the tower, you can walk into the area where the tower is and you can just smell the basil kind of, um, you know, it hits you as a fragrance quite right away. Um, and you're eating something which has got the highest nutritional value. Um, and what's great, you can cut off the, the leaves from the, the leafy green vegetables, for instance, your salads, and it will start to grow back. And, you know, although we've harvested quite a lot in the last, uh, what, three, four months, it's amazing just how quickly it does recover and come back again. So uh, we, we're massively pleased about it, great fans of it. Um, as I said, return investment, we probably buy eight bags of salad uh, a week, and we probably throw out one and a half to two bags because we don't use them in time. And as soon as you open them up, they go off anyway. Um, here, we just use and uh, cut what we want and uh, move it from there. Um, the, the quality, we're paying for a basically, you know, organic food out there isn't cheap. It's, it's, it's fairly expensive. And what we're doing is we're actually taking advantage of that. And uh, we're, we're actually kind of growing our own organic food. Um, it, again, it uses less water. So, I mean, here in Portugal, we were in a drought situation last year. So it was really important to be able to, um, to, to recycle that water and to make sure that it was, it was doing good. And the produce, it, it comes so quickly um, and, and you get, as I said, 30% more along the way. The technology is something that's very, very simple um, and, and it's environmentally friendly, which is great. And here's an interesting one. Studies show that children that grow their own produce will eat more produce uh, raw because of it. So that's, uh, that's a really good one. Um, moving on, you know, what's, what's the whole thing about, um, you know, the business side of it? And that's why we're all here, really. Um, it absolutely fits into our mission statement, which is aspiring healthy living around the world. And when I went to Phoenix, I, I had a chat to, to Jay Martin and Jay Martin told me that people that, you know, when they listen to the Inspire Healthy Living around the world and then they say, but you're just trying to tell me Juice Plus. But when they see something that you can grow, they understand the whole benefit of Inspiring Healthy Living. And what they do is they ask, what other products do you, you, do you sell? And here's the story. Everybody that buys a tower buys Juice Plus, but not everybody buys Juice Plus buys a tower. So the opportunity for business point of view is to start to grow your business. Go back to the people that perhaps were interested in Juice Plus, but here's the tower garden. I went back to somebody a year and a half ago who wasn't interested in Juice Plus. He took it. He actually did the marathon de Saab. He took it whilst he was running and training for that. Didn't take it afterwards when he came back told him about the tower, he immediately bought four towers and he wants to actually build a tower farm himself. So, you know, it's amazing just going back to some of your older prospects uh, and that's that's uh, something that's really, really good. It's gonna accelerate your business. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a kind of large capital purchase to start off with if you buy upfront, but when we do the launch, which is coming imminently, you will be able to pay for this on a monthly basis over a 12 month period. So it's, it's just like buying a premium uh, uh, Juice Plus package 
uh, on a regular basis until that 12 month period, but you will get the RVC, the PVC on that, that product up front, which would be very, very nice. So um, there's a lot of great business arguments um, it, it attracts really representatives that we've never ever been to before and markets that we can get into. And I'll talk about this in two minutes. Um, so, you know, continuing on, where do you find your prospects? Well, I'll tell you what, anywhere. You, you put your tower up and you will get people coming to you. Every single person that comes to our house that sees the tower, they say, and this is the men, which I was amazed at, the men, they turn around to their wives and say, darling, we're going to have one of these. And it's like, wow, you know, so it's very, very interesting just, just to see what happens. It's also for people on social media, it's a social media kind of, you know, uh, picture darling really in many ways, you know, to watch things grow, to see the different kind of stages of it, to picture it, to, to kind of see it blossoming, to share that. And, you know, it's all about sharing our stories. And this kind of does such a great kind of advert for us. Um, and, it, and it really promotes what we are doing, you know, healthy lifestyle. And it's showing that, you know, we're walking the talk, which is, uh, which is great news. Right. Um, should we... Just last slide, last okay. slide, James. Okay, yeah. so here's some, of the, here's some of the kind of people that I believe that we can actually target kind of very, very well. Obviously, you know, parents of, of children, um, younger people. My, my children are so much into healthy living and, and, and kind of organic produce. They're the people, the millennials, that we're really kind of looking for. Food lovers, elderly people. My in-laws have never been more excited than have been since they've got a tower. It's incredible. Um, and children, schools, and chefs, obviously. There we go. Thank you, James. Well done. No, that is fantastic. And thank you very, very much for presenting that. I mean, it's a lot of detailed information. You did that absolutely brilliantly. Yeah. Um, so as Gordon said, all of that information, um, you know, if you are already a franchisee that is going to be in your back office so you can find all of that you can download it very simply um but that's just a beautiful showcase really of the exciting uh facts about the tower garden this is really the most extraordinary opportunity i've ever seen i've never seen the response uh, like we have with the tower garden as gordon was saying everybody loves it everybody gets it you know it's it's just a a beautiful conversation to have with people. All right, well, let's move on now. And um, <coughs> we said that we were going to hear from um, some people that are already uh, using the Tower Garden. And first of all, we're going to go over to Berlin and we're going to go over to Vinay. And um, Vinay is a dear friend of mine and we've been working together for uh, actually pretty much 20 years. So 25 years. 25, we go back a long way, but he, he's become a really, really close friend. And uh, we never knew each other before this, but that's just the wonder of networking. Um, and Vinay, just tell us a little bit about your experience. And we've got probably about three or four minutes for you. Oh, well, three or four minutes. I've yeah, actually yeah. prepared a little bit, uh, um, uh, <laughs> a few pictures I wanted to share with you sure, guys. Sure. Um, I just, um, can you see my... Yeah, we can. Go ahead, yeah. My screen? Yeah. Great. So just uh, just a quick shot, um, really short, um, about me. I'm, I'm a clinical working organization psychologist. I'm into communication training. And uh, as just, uh, James just said, mentioned, I've been uh, uh, with James together in this business since 25 years. And uh, I just want to uh, show you my family also who's been with me right from the beginning uh, in this business, my wife and uh, eventually my daughter is a Juice Plus kid. <laughs> and Ohana, Ohana means family. And why I'm saying this, I, you will just uh, know in the next uh, few slides, uh, means uh, sticking together and being uh, there for each other. And this is uh, what motivates me with this company, basically. Uh, it's it's a kind of family. And it's more than just being business partners. And here you see James and me when I was visit visiting him in London. I think that was in last uh, 2017 or 18. I was there. And then you see uh, Jeff Roberti, uh, one of the uh, people who have built this business in Europe massively also. And that's the picture where I must say, where I was introduced 2015 by our uplines, Bob and Sue, uh, the Tower Garden. And I was excited, purely excited about it. I got a clear vision about um, uh, self-caring regarding uh, uh, food. And uh, basically I love cooking, right? 
and uh, I got a clear vision. What I wanted to do to develop a community who share, share the same passion about, you know, uh, providing yourself with the really fresh, fresh, fresh food. And uh, this is the founder of Jay Martin, uh, which I met then in Liverpool in 2017. I, I've met him quite often. But here I was very keen of getting all the information from him about uh, the Tower Garden. But he was more into, you know, having the party, uh, obviously. But that's fine. Now, finally, uh, after waiting for so many years, in the end of November, uh, I, I, I ordered the Tower Garden. And here you can say how how big actually the packets are it's our lovely dog Asia and here you see the unboxing what's in there and when it was finally set up and put the seats there mid-December the first you could see the first things growing and then end of January I made my first salad boom and I, we were so excited that every second, third day I had to take a picture. So I've, until now, I think I've taken about uh, a thousand pictures of, of, of the growth of my plants. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> and uh, I've, I've also developed this kind of, you know, photography for, for the plants. And uh, uh, I make two, three times a month, I make fresh chutney, uh, falafel. I, I just love the cooking. And and William, who is going to speak uh, also here, uh, has become one of my mentors in telling me a lot. I have not the green thumb. My wife has it. But uh, I feel like now I can have it too. And it's so exciting to grow your own food, basically, and pick it. You have really fresh from the tower to the table, you could say so. And, it's, it's, and since we are in the pre-launch phase, we are like pioneers. And what do pioneers do? Just imagine somebody have, would have told you 25 years ago, or even I think 30 years ago in the 90s, when the CDs came out, would have told you all about the, 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 the here, the, uh, uh, the iPod, uh, would have told you this is going to be the next big thing, or the fridges, this is going to be the next big thing. Why don't you uh, join the We're going to have to move on now. We're yes, gonna... I'm very fast. I'm through. I'm through. No, we're don't worry. Have to I'm... Move on because. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just finished just this one, one, one sentence. Don't kill my excitement now. <laughs> so what I want to just share with you, you know, co contribute something to change the society about having, you know, this, this sharing this very wonderful product and, and using it for yourself. Okay, thanks. Brilliant, thanks. brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry, I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> so, so much for the preparation you put into that and that, that was absolutely incredible. So let's now move on to, uh, we're going to Holland now and Wilma. Um, we'd love to hear from you. And you've got it beautifully uh, highlighted there, the Tower Garden actually behind you. Uh, yes, I have my Tower Garden since November. Right. And uh, I have little tomatoes that are hard tomatoes. And normally I don't eat tomatoes, but these are very delicious from tasting. And it is so wondering to see them grow. But not only the tomatoes, all, all, all the veggies are very tasteful. And uh, last, last week we ate in a restaurant and uh, we had a salad, but that was just filling. It wasn't food anymore for me. Um, the taste from the salad in the restaurant, I paid a lot of money for it, but there was not living food. And this one is every day when I take my enough for that day, uh, it, it's, it's living food and you can feel it, you, the taste is great. But also um, the benefits from my body is, is still, yeah, still healthier, healthier, healthier. So I started with uh, Juice Plus five years ago and I just asked for something that was amazing food for our body. My husband had a, a heart attack and I knew as a nutrition naturopath, I needed something really good at food. And I started, we started with the Juice Plus and a year later the Omegas came and we are still growing, growing, not in all, just in age, but in health. And that's so amazing to feel, to see. And uh, Gordon said it, uh, teaching the children, uh, I, I, have a grand, I am a grandmother and our little, little ones, uh, it, it, as they can, they, they search for the tomatoes and they taste them and say, oh, they're growing and they're eating from the tower. 
And what, uh, what also the beauty is, the patients are coming. I have my next door in the other room. I have my uh, uh, test area and working area, but this is at my office. And I'm uh, every every single patient asks, "How is your garden?" And that's so nice. They're not buying yet, yet, but they are in the mind from, "Oh, it's coming." And I live in an area in the uh, of the area yes in in Venlo. That's an area with a big gardening and big uh, yeah, uh, technology. So that's, that's for the industry. So people think, oh, it's for the industry. Say, yes, but we have it at home. And that's the, the amazing thing. And I tell them every time the light, what the plants do grow, they fill, they fill my cells with love and energy and um health so yeah so i'm very very happy with my tower gower great wilma we're gonna have to move on now Thanks. yes well done i love that and i i i, I love the tomatoes brilliant so let's yeah. move on i love <laughs> right. <laughs> and let's move on now and we're going down to wales now sue worrell sue are you there sue can you hear me now yeah, I can hear you. Oh, Come on, sorry, yeah. let's hear from bit you. A bit, bit of a dip in my, can you see my tower? Yep, tell us all about it, how you got it, why in you- In my office, it's in my office. Um, when Gordon came back from America, um, I got the, the big, huge tower, which is um, taller than me. And uh, we grew it, it was like a triffid. We grew um, nasturtiums, uh, beans, we had green beans on there. We had, some, we had a couple of cucumbers. It was mad, really. We grew everything. Um, but then I gave that to my frontline, Simone, who was six foot tall. And just recently then, I've got my new tower. And it's just, I love it. Every morning I come down and talk to it. But the one of the off, offshoots of it, which is really interesting, is this is my office. And it was the garage. So it's long and thin. And I get very sore eyes working on the computer here. And since I've used the grow lights for the lights, it really lights up this corner, I don't have sore eyes anymore. So I don't know whether it's the kind of light that I'm working under, but I haven't had sore eyes since I've turned this tower on. So brilliant. So I'm just getting more seeds from William. I have to say the seedlings I got were absolutely amazing. They were just brilliant. They, they grew in two days. I swear I could see them growing. Um, and I just said for some more, so I'm putting some strawberries in there now. We've, we've, we've stripped one side, we've eaten so many salads lately and we had guests around as well. And they, they're all intrigued. They, I will sell some of these because they're all looking at it and thinking about it. So yeah, Thanks, Sue. Thank you, Sue, lovely. Let's go to, uh, really appreciate that. Let's go to Paula now. Paula, are you there? Paula, if you could unmute yourself. Hello, hello, can you oh, hear me? Oh. Yes, bring yourself on screen, camera. I vanished. I was there and I haven't done anything. So how do I get the camera back on? I don't know. You you, you could go down bottom oh, left. I thought 4787. Yeah, go, go put yourself on um, on bottom left. Are you on your phone or on your laptop? Uh, uh, laptop. Okay, bottom left, you've got the camera there. There we go. No. Is it video? It's video, yeah. Put yeah, I'll on. stop yeah. video. Put yourself on. I was there, and then I look. I've been trying to find where I was, and it's I've vanished. This is okay. really odd. Just take it without the camera. Just tell us your background. That's, that's fine. Tell okay. us about your why you've chosen the tower garden. Right. Yes. Um, well, I've been with Juice Plus now. Well, I've lost count. Possibly a, coming up to ten years, perhaps. Maybe not right. quite so long. Um, been very busy with a lot of other things going on in life. But uh, I've always been interested in gardening. And when I lived in Australia, gardening was easy. I had sunlight, I had warmth. I was out in the garden and I would plant something and it would grow quickly. But here we're weather dependent and I love cooking. I love Asian cookery. So I got a tower garden as soon as I possibly could. And I'm so disappointed you can't see me because I wanted to show you my beautiful tomatoes. Um, but I've grown a lot of coriander, pak choy, spicy oriental mix. I'm not going to the supermarket, picking up things in plastic bags and wasting journeys. 
The food tastes amazing. The flavor is just incredible. It's grown quickly. People walk into the house and go, wow, I love that. So I'm excited by it um, and it tastes great. And I think the, uh, the lights, uh, it's interesting Sue talking about the lights and the effect on her eyes, but I think they double up as seasonal affective disorder lights, sad lights, because they lift your mood. They're really good. So, I mean, that's it, bottom line. I love, I love it. It's Great. Really well, that, thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. That is absolutely amazing. And, it, you know, we would have loved to have seen you, of course, but what you presented there was absolutely perfect. I so was on you. there. My picture was there. But well, we're, we're perfectly happy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on. Thank you very much for joining All right, James. Nice to see you. Bye, Bye for now. Bye. Um, William. William Benson is our special guest, and um, William is really at the forefront of everything with the Tower Garden. Are you there, William? I am indeed. Thank you. Here he is. Thank you for the invite. And it's really odd now seeing all these faces because I've talked to about, <laughs> about <laughs> five people online over the last uh, uh, three months. So, yeah, mine is a slightly different story because um, I came at this from a horticultural perspective. I own a site on about 45 minutes south of London. Um, of which I have just submitted planning permission for a six acre site and that includes a six and a half thousand square foot greenhouse which will hold 320 powers in it and so to get to the point of where I'm at now I've been down a pretty interesting journey um, which started off by uh, going to Germany twice, Holland twice, try and find the best growing medium I could the maximize the, the volume space that I had rather than growing in fields, which it, it, it's positive and organic is great, but I didn't have enough space for that anymore. And I wanted to bring horticulture right into the heart of what we were looking to do. So I went searching and I went to big trade fairs for two years in a row. Um, I bought a German, um, aeroponic barrel over and I grew with that for nine months which was a really good introduction because it basically made me realize that it was pretty complicated growing this way unless you have what is the turnkey situation with tower gardens so anyway after having done that for nine months it was a really good introduction into how to grow this way I was always looking over the pond at what was happening with tower garden I knew them I'd met them at the trade fair and eventually I decided that I was going to um, actually go that way. So I then started talking to Tim Blank at length um, in America and then he invited me to come over um, and I, um, I got picked up by him and taken to True Garden where I spent two days uh, with Troy and um, learned a fair amount about the way it all worked. I went to lots of greenhouses, I looked at about 10 different tower grows across America and eventually decided that was it. So I came back over here. I bought a micro farm to start with. So I have a 15 tower farm that is directly feeding my existing restaurant. So I've got a business that currently runs, which is a restaurant and a, and a food retail outlet. And um, it's been amazingly good for that. It's an incredibly good backdrop and it's so easy to grow with. Um, so then, yeah, so I've been growing that way. I'm now partners with Troy, so True Garden. So I'm basically helping him out with commercial tower farm leads across Europe at the moment. Um, I'm speaking to Tim Blank. I literally was on the call with, to him about three hours ago in terms of he's then assisting me in terms of the main greenhouse build and how that's going to be built out because that's pretty complicated in the way it works. Um, not, not, complicated over and above normal growing but 310 towers definitely is different to the 15 that I've currently got at the moment um, and then um, I've got five home towers myself I've got three of them in my house um, and then I've got two of them showcasing um, selling them at the farm in front of the um, the, the micro farm so it's um, yeah, it's been an amazing journey and I have learned a considerable amount. I have um, set up a company called seedleaves.com, um, which is at the moment UK only, but I am looking at 
how I'm going to roll that out across Europe because I have been asked if that's achievable by Tower Garden. So at the moment I'm supplying, I've got about 110 different types of um, seedlings um, across about four different types. So I've got fruit, veg, um, I've got calibres and, and, and then herbs. It works really well. I was just going to share my screen, but I'm not sure whether I can actually. Yeah, well. Uh, oh, hold on. I think it might be my end. Just give me one sec. Sorry, brand new computer. See if that works. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, this is my main site. Um, and this is the plan for it. So I've got an aeroponic greenhouse, which is really the one we're talking about. But I have a, a 14,000 square foot restaurant, a food hall, uh, cabins. I've got eco lodges for uh, people to come from around the UK and stay with us so that they can then learn how to grow aeroponically. So I'm going to be doing a range of different lessons um, for people both growing tower well, farms. You, uh, uh, William, could you just scroll back down to that slide about the UN? That looks really, really interesting. Yeah, like, no, that's it's, it's absolutely correct. It's it's. Um, the one thing with Tower Garden and the huge benefit it's seeing in areas that have had substantial problems with erosion is the water usage. So I know of at least five farms that have been sold into Arab countries. Uh, there is an 1800 farm, uh, 1800 tower farm going into the UAE in 2022, Saudi Arabia. It's incredibly good on that level. So where um, where countries have serious issues with importing their own foods because of their climate. It's a brilliant way of, um, of doing that. The CapEx infrastructural costs of setting up a tower farm is considerably less than setting up what are these other vertical type farms. They cost literally 10 times as much. So there's some real interest in, um, in, in um, areas that have real problems with that. So this is True Garden. Um, and as I say, I've now been there twice. It's just the most incredible environment. You walk in there and all you can smell is fresh basil herbs. You, it, it, this, the oxygen is incredible. The light coming down through the thing. The beauty of this type of growing actually, in my case, is the theatre. So the theatre of growing like this so that your customers can come and actually see the towers. They can see exactly this wall of green. They can really engage with where their food's coming from um, is why I've gone for this particularly. So then, um, yeah, this kind of website goes on. It was uh, this with this is available for anyone to look at. It was to help me. This is my I don't know whether you can see this um, video going at the moment, but this is my grow with one of my chefs coming out and um, harvesting foods there straight to my barbecue area in the background. So I have 70 people a day sitting directly around the towers, um, selecting, watching the food coming out. Chefs come out three times a day to harvest. So they're pulling tomatoes. You can see there I've got, I, I picked 62 kilos of tomatoes off one tower, which was three plants last year. It was incredible and it just looked extraordinary. So yeah, so then agritourism, type of thing we're going to do hydroponic propagation commercial courses um yeah it kind of goes on so that's that and then this is seed leaves where you can go on there you can um select a range of different seedlings to choose from as i said i've got about i've got over 100 different types i'm really trying to produce a seedling that has the most extraordinary root growth right from the outset so i grow with a very special mix of nutrient that I have come across over the time. Um, it's not the Tower Garden tonic, it's one that uh, massively increases root growth. So that's why they seemingly do incredibly well coming from me and going into my towers. Um, this is a seedling starter pack for anyone to purchase if they wanted to. Um, and then, as I said, I've got a hundred different types. I've just 
as part of working with Tower Garden, they've asked me to do some packs. So I've got the herb pack, I've got a juicing pack, and those are six different types of um, uh, seedling specifically in that category. Um, and you can just mix and match. I'm putting a subscription model in um, next month so you can then order to have the have an amount sent to you over a period of time. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. As well, I say, that, that's I, amazing, uh, William. I mean, let's. Uh, I mean, that's so comprehensive, and it's fantastic to have someone so passionate about it. You know, I mean, I think let's just put some questions in the chat box, um, if you could, down the bottom, everyone. So, any questions you want to ask, let's put them in the chat. But the question I really want to ask uh, William Yu is why did you choose Tower Garden over all the competition? What was it that moved you over the line and you thought, yeah, this is it? Turnkey. It is because there are so many different angles that you can do with the Tower Garden and it comes with everything you could possibly need to grow plants. So the fact that Tower Garden comes with Tower Tonic, it comes with the pH, it comes with everything you need brings it way over and above anyone else. Otherwise, you're going to have to source, you know, a type of liquid nutrient that is quite complicated. It just makes it really, really simple for anyone to pick up and work with. So I went with it on that level. I saw the commercial benefit of growing with it, but I also saw there, there was massive potential of the domestic sales of Tower Garden across Europe. I saw huge potential for it. So I decided to go with it for that reason. And what would you say, William? Uh, I mean, if anyone has any other questions, I can see some coming up, but I just got another question I want to ask. What do you see the future of Tower Garden? Where do you see it in five, 10 years? Interesting question, actually. Um, I would suggest that the commercial farms will increase quite rapidly. Um, I think Brexit, I think all of the things that ha have impacted us heavily, COVID and all those different iterations have really made it very obvious that our supply chains are in a, a substantially difficult position. And so I reckon tower farms will push out really heavily. And I would suggest also that lots of people will start purchasing and growing um, in their own houses. It's called the hyper-local production of foods in urban environments is the catchphrase for it. And it's basically, there's you, massive yeah. venture capital going into it. So we can catch that, what the hyper what? It's the hyper-local production of foods in, in urban environments. And basically there's massive venture capital going into this and it's all about producing foods where the consumer actually eats it. So you're then removing the carbon, you know, off chain of the, I think what is it? It's your average lettuce has traveled 1,150 miles, has lost 40 to 60% of its nutritional value and is six to eight days old by the time it enters your plate. And that is, you know, that, that, that's an incredible uh, statistic. I mean, I think it's one that we're all sadly aware of. But when you put it in like that, I mean, 150 mile journey, 40 to 60 percent loss in nutritional value and six to eight days old. I mean, my God, that's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Let alone the carbon cost of taking that product, the, the plastic cost of putting that into, you know, wrapping it in plastic. All of those different iterations make it that there's a big drive towards this whole uh, producing your own food in your own house. That's amazing. Uh, a couple of questions coming up. Um, can we organize a visit to see you? And Absolutely. So my site is now because of the restaurant situation, I put 600 seedlings in about five days ago. The bloody frost this year has been an absolute nightmare. Otherwise, I would have done it earlier. But no, I've got 600 seedlings in now. So in about <laughs> I'd say with normal soil, it'll be I would say it's in six weeks time. But in two weeks time, I will be very close to harvesting my first batch for the restaurant. So okay, you can happily come down, have a look as a group. You can come down and have lunch, whatever you want to do. It's absolutely fine. 
and the restaurant's all open and, and yeah, totally open. Yeah, it's been oh. open. It's it's now we're eating indoors. I think I tell you what I would suggest is June would be a good time. Apparently it's going to warm up in June and then our entire kitchen, including five chefs, all then come to that central area you might have seen. And we're cooking on an Indian fire bowl with the tower gardens literally no more than five metres away from where the chefs are. That's where the spectacle is. And I'd suggest coming at that point. And, and how soon is that? So June, beginning of June, I think it'll beginning warm up. June. And how do yeah. we book to come down? James, 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 there's a few more questions on the thing, the chat show. Yeah. Go through them first before we get the No, no go on, go on. What? Um, so, so what do you recommend, uh, Will, to grow first of all as a tower? And also, uh, someone asked, is there, is all in rock wool? I know you use something else, don't you? Could you just kind yeah. of that for us? Yeah, I mean, I've, okay, as a starting point, I would definitely stick with uh, lettuces. I tell you what has grown. Can we, can we go back from your screen so it's not uh, taking up the whole thing? Yeah. yeah you just go. unshare your screen. Yeah, that'd be yeah. good. That'd be there great. we go. Well done. Oh, that's better. Um, I would absolutely suggest, I tell you what, the, 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 the best thing I've ever grown is pak choy for something that is bulletproof, that just cannot go wrong seemingly. Pak choy, a purple, a beautiful ruby pak choy. One looks absolutely amazing when your guests turned up and two just doesn't go wrong, grows incredibly fast. So a combination between that and lettuces, Basil can be a little bit complicated. It takes longer to grow, but other herbs. Um, but I definitely stick with lettuces and um, some of those calories to start with. Um, Swiss chard, really good. Um, kale, really good. They all work really well. Easy to grow. And rock wool versus what is it you use? You use some other. So I use a soil bound um, polymer. So, sorry, I use a, a, a substrate that takes soil and they put a natural polymer in it to basically turn it so that it sticks together. And it basically feels a bit like a, a sponge or a brownie. And it comes with liquid nutrient already in it. So it is far more sustainable than rock wool. Rock wool, in all honesty, is not sustainable. It is uh, pumice stone that has been heated up to 2000 degrees and had oxygen blown through it and is non-biodegradable. I don't have any time for rock. Well, I probably shouldn't say that. And I'll probably have my hand very much slapped by Targa. I buy Juice Plus, but I much prefer these. Or I'm about to also, Troy has been growing with Coca Coya for the last two years. He absolutely swears by it. He's doing 25,000 seedlings a month at the moment using Coca Coya. And I, I've got a batch of um, 30,000 coming over at the moment. So I will also be able to do Coca Coya, and that's organic. Okay. And do you envisage a time when Juice Plus will be able to prize seedlings or are they going to do it through you and other tower farms? I, I don't think they have a policy like that. Where I'm really going is trying to create a brand that is one that is totally recognisable to people and one that is very trustworthy. There's been a lot of headache in America with seedling providers basically sending out products with predators in them and pathogens and things like that so that when they come they've got aphids and things like that which has really done them no no favors in all honesty so what i'm trying to do is create an environment mine is totally contained indoors with carbon filters and all those types of things to stop any pathogens and predators so i think wh where i'm going is trying to make seedleaves.com the place to go to okay great right, James, well, look, i think we're pretty much there now uh, we are um, 50 minutes in, uh, a little bit longer than we we're expecting, and particularly for those people that might be watching this as a recording, we don't want it to go on uh, for too long, and I think we've covered a lot of absolutely fabulous information. Um, William, in case people would like to contact you directly, um, could you just put something on the chat about how to yeah. you? That would yeah. be absolutely great. Um, and also, if you could just give us details of the website very quickly. Coming in now. Yeah, brilliant. All right. And um, just to let you know, everyone, um, that uh, next Monday, uh, there's another call, uh, another Tower Garden call. So I hope, uh, and I'm absolutely positive, that this will have got you on a level of fascination uh, beyond all imagination. Um, and you will be thinking, how on earth can I get more information about this? Because 
I, I personally think that this is a phenomenon that we're looking at here, a phenomenon, and you'll be able to hear, you, you'll be able to say, I saw it first before anyone. Um, I, I personally think this is akin to something like the launch of the iPhone, to be honest with you, but that may be too extreme, but I do think it, it's a game changer, a major game changer. Um, so let's, uh, let's look at the um, uh, next Monday, 26th of May, a little bit earlier, at seven o'clock, uh, there's going to be a special call. Um, and we've got Jamie, uh, James Kaufman, who is the director of Tower Farms, who's the special guest. Um, and you can see the details of that on um, the uh, Tower Garden Northern Europe Facebook page. You can see all of that. Um, and if you'd like to personal, uh, uh, private message the person who first uh, introduced you to this and invited you on, they'll be able to get you those details. So I think that's about it, everyone. I'm sorry to draw it to a close, but we have been on for 50 minutes. And thank you everyone very much for coming on. William, thank you so much for coming on. I mean, it's been absolutely invaluable. Um, thank you very much to our guests, uh, Vinay, um, Wilma and Sue and also Paula, thank you very much. We are so sorry we had to cut you short at times, but um, we just had to get in what we had to present. So thank you everyone very much indeed and look forward to seeing you soon and uh, if not before next Monday. Thanks guys. Take Bye. Care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Will. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.